Yo, nu weer kijk je zijn eens. Ja, de Jan, dit is Felix van NYNews.com. Like always, welkom op Stas. Zo, so, Yankees fans, the richest franchise in professional sports can't afford to sign neither DJ LeMahieu or Tanaka. Is this team the poverty Yankees? Have the Yankees taken a blow from COVID-19? Who knows, but this is kind of ridiculous when the Los Angeles Dodgers, the defending world champs, by the way, or your number one threat in signing arguably your best hitter, the best player on your team for the last two seasons. So it just came out that Masahiro Tanaka is contemplating playing in Japan if the Yankees don't sign him. If you ask me, hey, whatever, you let Tanaka go. But he's been a solid uh, pitcher for the Yankees these past uh, seven seasons. And it also shows his loyalty to the Yankees. He could sign with any Major League Baseball team that there is. I know the Seattle Mariners would love Tanaka on their team. He's basically telling the Yankees that, hey, you can sign me for whatever you guys want. A decent price. But the Yankees, again, they're letting all these guys slip away. And it's really, really a travesty that... It has taken this long to negotiate with DJ LeMahieu. The reported number that they're off by is about $25 million. It's starting to really, really remind me of how the Yankees barely talked to Didi. And how Didi Gregorius came out and said, the Yankees barely made me an offer. They barely contacted me. And I could see the same situation happening now with DJ LeMahieu, as we've seen reports that the Dodgers are the favorites in signing DJ. Look, I don't care if the Yankees let go of Tanaka, but DJ LeMahieu, hmm, this guy has been pretty solid. And if you ask me, this guy deserves whatever money is coming his way. The guy is just a beast. He got the nickname The Machine, La Machina. And, you know... It's really, really stupid that the Yankees are, one, taking this long to sign him, and two, we're not seeing that many reports coming out that the Yankees are approaching any players via free agency. In my previous video, I stated that I think, I believe that the Yankees are going to take the trade route, but I don't know. The Yankees have been too quiet. Maybe they're negotiating, but who knows? I know for a fact that the Dodgers want to keep repeating winning championships and the Yankees are taking the same old route where they make all these trades for offensive players. But really, Brian Cashman's weak spot is starting pitching via trades. Hey, they made the Gary Cole signing last season, which was great. But if you're going to point out a weakness of Brian Cashman, it has to do with, let's say, starting pitching. And then again, when it comes to negotiating contracts for players that the Yankees fans want and players that are obviously going to help the Yankees win number 28. And you also have to love what the Padres have done. They remind me heavily of the early 2000 Yankees where the Yankees went out there and got a whole bunch of pictures they signed whatever top picture was out there but we're not seeing that with the Yankees I mean I'm pretty terrified at the idea of losing DJ LeMahieu like I said hey Tanaka whatever it'll be great if he comes back but what we're seeing from the Yankees this offseason we're seeing that they're not willing to spend but hopefully I'm wrong they signed DJ LeMahieu again but you know they're gonna have to hit the trade route if the Dodgers uh pick him up or a name being floated out there uh michael brantley so yeah these fans like always leave your opinions in the comment section below and like always this has been felix from nynews.com share like and subscribe and i'll check you all next time before it hits the front page and